hey everybody happy saturday to you i'm so happy to be off on a saturday i haven't had a saturday off in weeks and weeks and weeks so i'm definitely relishing this one i had a family holiday photo shoot this morning which is actually our first holiday shoot of the season we'd get a lot of families for like christmas cards and all that sort of thing so it kind of kicked that off for us then I did an Instagram live with my friend Keto Steve and that was awesome. Basically just did like a Q&A with him for an hour and answered a bunch of questions. So if you were on there asking questions, thanks. I appreciate it. Then, <laughs> this is what Saturdays off look like for us. They're still busy, but fun. We went to a fall festival at the local elementary school and they had the most incredible day. I'm like, it was like a mini carnival. They had all kinds of homemade games for the kids, bounce houses, pony rides, bake sale. Like it was so awesome. We had so much fun. So now I want to show you really quickly a recipe that I am doing that I have made for a friend. My friend Yuji has been really, really craving like spinach feta pie. The traditional spinach feta pie, I believe is like really just spinach and feta. And then it has like a crust topping, kind of like a pot pie. So I'm doing a take on those flavors and I'm actually going to make spinach feta hand pies. So I'm gonna use fathead dough to make little like pie pockets. And then I'm gonna fill them with spinach and feta. And I'm actually gonna add ground beef to mine just to make it more of a meal. So I'm pretty excited about this, but I'm making this for her because that that's what she's been craving and she's been asking me forever to come up with some kind of like spinach feta recipe. So Yuji, this is for you. Mm. Diet Coke is life right now. I hope you guys are having the best Saturday and I hope you're spending time with family. I hope you are eating and drinking and just enjoying the weather. Florida actually got a little bit of a cold front. It's in the 70s, but I'll take it. So here's what you're gonna need for the spinach and feta hand pies. Do you like my bow? I'm like Jojo Siwa. Okay, so for the inside, the filling, I've got about a pound and a half of ground beef, a 10 ounce pack of frozen spinach, some minced garlic, two tablespoons of sour cream, salt, pepper, onion powder, and parsley, one diced yellow onion, and then I am going to add the egg white from one egg into the mix and this egg yolk is actually going to be to brush the hand pies before they go into the oven i forgot to mention in the ingredient list four ounces of feta cheese is going to go into this too then just the usual suspects are needed for the fat head dough so that's going to be a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella two tablespoons of cream cheese one egg three quarters of a cup of almond flour, and a slight splash of vinegar. Into a big saucepan, I have a tablespoon of olive oil and about a teaspoon of butter. I'm going to let this melt down and get nice and hot, and then I'm going to add the onion. All right, I've got the onions cooking over medium heat. I'm gonna cook them for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna throw the ground beef in with them. While this is happening, I'm also making up a batch of fathead dough, and I will put the link to that video down below. All right, I cooked the onions for about five minutes, then I threw in the ground beef. I'm gonna go ahead and cook this until it's browned and drain it really well. All right, the ground beef and onion mixture is completely browned. I'm gonna drain this really well, and then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients for the hand pies. Okay, I have the meat sitting in a strainer over the sink. So I went ahead and threw the pan back onto the medium burner and put in a block of frozen spinach. This is a 10 ounce block. Then I'm gonna add the meat and onion mixture back into it and that will get the spinach all melted down. All right, so I put the meat back in with the block of frozen spinach. I'm gonna throw the lid on for two minutes just to get that spinach melting and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so I went ahead and made a batch of fathead dough. I will leave the recipe down below. I've already shown you guys how we do our fathead dough several times, so I didn't wanna just put that in as filler video. If you have any questions about fathead dough, leave them down below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Okay, heaping tablespoon of minced garlic, maybe a little more. Then we are going to do a half a teaspoon, if I can find it, half a teaspoon of onion powder, 
a teaspoon of parsley. Then salt and pepper to taste. We like salt and pepper and this is a lot of meat, so don't be shy. Salt and pepper. Then I am adding in about two tablespoons of sour cream. And then we're gonna mix this all together. I'm also going to be adding an egg white to this mixture, but I'm going to wait until I take it off the heat to do that so I don't have a scrambled egg white. You basically want to temper the egg white into this mixture, which means to add it very, very, very slowly. Ooh, I'm flinging crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, add it very, very slowly so you don't cook the egg. I'll show you how I do that. To temper the egg white here, I'm basically going to add a little bit of this um, warm meat mixture to it. And this will help kind of bring the temperature of the egg yolk a little similar to what we're going to be adding it to. And then I'm gonna mix it in really slowly. Temper your egg, people. All right, guys, so I'm going to very slowly add in this egg mixture. I'm like terrified that it's gonna scramble, so let's pray. The reason that you add the egg is it helps to kind of keep this together, but it's also just one of the traditional ingredients. Oh God, everybody pray. Um, to a traditional spinach pie. This is just what it calls for. All right, we did good. There's no scrambled eggs in there, so. Go Very team. Nice. Very Go nice. team. Okay, so. Now the last step of the filling is gonna to be to add the feta cheese. So I have a four ounce container here of feta cheese. We are going to sprinkle all of that in or dump it all in. Yeah, there was no sprinkling in. And stir it together. And then the filling is ready to go into the hand pies. All right guys, we are super sketched out right now because fathead dough is really finicky. If you've ever cooked with it before, you know that. So this is going to make two large hand pies. That's our hope anyway. So like I said, this was a single batch of fathead dough. I'm going to go ahead and use a pizza cutter to cut it down the middle. Then walk with me, walk with me, walk with me. We are transferring it to this pan right here. So basically the hope and the prayer, <laughs> all the prayers is that we're gonna put in the filling and then we're basically going to wrap them up like little calzones. So I will concentrate the filling on one side of them and then I'm hoping that I will be able to use the parchment paper to assist me in folding it over. Or it's going to be a big freaking mess. Let's see. All right, so spooning the mixture into the hand pies. We're gonna have way more mixture than what we technically need, but I wanted to kind of test this out before I made a zillion of them. So I will probably end up making a second batch of fathead dough and doing like two more hand pies. So a good amount of filling in. Cause you can't have wimpy hand pies. I don't like anything, no wimpy food. All right, so now everybody pray because it's time to roll them up and I'm terrified. Okay, so we were really scared to show you. I'm still scared. Basically what I did was I took the parchment paper and I folded it over. And what happens here is when you do fathead dough on the thinner side, it really does like to stick to the parchment paper. So that's why we're being so dramatic. But basically I'm going to really, really carefully peel the parchment paper. Oh, it's kind of happening. It's kind of happening away from the, uh, away from the dough. If you are able to stick it to itself, Fathead dough loves to stick together, so that might help you out a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely, like I've got one side that's being my friend, and the other side I'm struggling a little bit, as you can see here, but I'm gonna make it happen, so we'll be back. In typical Murawski fashion, one is beautiful, 
One is not. Guess, Guess which one Dan gets. <laughs> this is Dan's. <laughs> okay, so next, we're gonna do a couple of little slits just so the moisture can come out and the steam. And then I'm gonna use a basting brush and brush the tops with that egg yolk. So that'll help them get nice and golden. I mean, fathead dough gets golden anyway, but this is just gonna kind of up the ante there. It's gonna be awesome. So brush them with egg yolk. Just throw a little more over on top of the, uh, <laughs> the hole. There. Maybe it'll fill it in. I probably could have like really finessed this dough into this ugly one not being so ugly. But what happens is when you are making fathead dough, you basically have to use it the second it's ready. This sat for a couple of minutes while I was cooking the inside. So because it was like kind of on the warm side and room temperature, it makes it a little bit harder to work with. It's just one of the downsides to fathead dough. Um, but you'll learn as you go, there are a lot of different ways to kind of buck the system there. So now this is gonna go into a 400 degree oven. I'm gonna check it at about 20 minutes, but I will update you with how long it takes to be done. Okay guys, we ended up leaving this in for about 23 minutes. And as you can see, it is beautiful. So beautiful. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Fathead dough is so freaking versatile. Okay, so I pulled the pretty one off the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down the middle so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside, but it is so beautiful. Can I eat it? <laughs> yeah, I eat it. Mm -hmm. Moment of truth. Now, this isn't gonna be quite as sturdy as if you used a cr like a crust crust. So you might still have to use a knife and fork, but there it is. Pick it up with your hand. It's really hot, I can't. <laughs> it's steaming, you can see the steamies. You wanna try it? Duh. Okay. Okay, so if you're not a savage and you can wait for these to cool, they probably would be handheld. I uh, They're a little sturdier than I thought they were gonna be. So we're gonna go ahead and take a bite of these. I would actually probably serve them with a little bit of sour cream, but I used the last of it in the recipe. So let's see what they taste like. Oh, Look at know. that though. I mean, it's pretty dang sturdy. <laughs> mm. I mean, wait, what? It's hot. Oh, that's good. Mmm, it's really good. Flavor profile. Mm. It's amazing. No, like for real though, it's, it's amazing. If you wanted a vegetarian option, just don't do the ground beef and double up on the feta and the spinach. You could even probably add like black olives to this and that would be really good. Or like some tomatoes maybe. The possibilities are endless. It really is. You can put whatever you want in this. And like I said, like, yeah, fatha dough, it's a little tricky, but it is really versatile. Like, you can use it for so many, so many things. Just remember, parchment paper is key. Mm. Like, oh, for real, so though. Good. It's amazing. Like, I'm supposed to wait to eat dinner because the kids are awake. I'm not going to. It's not nope. even that, it's just kind of early. We filmed this vlog a little bit early today because time has been getting away from us in the evening. So we just wanted to make sure that we had a chance to upload for you guys today. And dinner's coming early today. We were gonna go to the pumpkin patch, but the kids like weren't feeling it. After the fall festival, they were really tired. She's still eating. It's really good. I'm waiting because I'm going to be a savage. I'm going to go ham on these things. Spinach and feta is one of my most favorite food combinations. Like if I order an omelet out, that's probably what's in it. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite. Wow, so good. So try it. Put other things in fathead pockets. Like the world is your oyster, as they say. You know the best way to burn calories? Fist pump. <laughs> Keto Guido. So we're gonna go eat our early dinner and have some more family time, probably watch like a Halloween movie or something. I'm probably yeah. gonna try to make Dan watch Hocus Pocus because I haven't watched it yet this year. I don't do scary movies. Hocus Pocus. I know. That movie's 
it's got some awkward moments. I'm like, how is this a kid's movie? Y'all. What? I didn't say that one was scary. Keep it up and I'm going to put on It. Nah, I'll go to bed. I love It. I, I haven't watched the brand new one yet, but like the classic It is one of my favorite movies. We all float down oh, here. Oh, it's so yeah. good. Yeah, see? <laughs> so see? good. Nope. Now I'm going have nightmares. It is scary. No. It's a good kind of scary. I love it. Okay, guys. I hope you have the best Saturday ever. We're going to go do family time and we will... Will we see them tomorrow? Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.